can see how in our left hand side we have the wheel viewer that we typically use to navigate the scene. We walk through it, we uh, see the lighting center that we have set up outside of the house in this example, and also to modify it in the right side. Uh, in our right side, we have, uh, as Daniel explained before, based in our new physically based lighting, uh, a more simple uh, lighting setup, not of course, our handle lighting. And what we have in the middle, what we do we have uh, our render frame that just came back to the farm after probably hours of rendering. Uh, and that's our feedback in what we actually need to work is it with the result of our modification. But the great thing of this tool is that in this case, what we have in the middle is actually our viewer. This is what we actually move around and see the impact of our lighting. You can actually see just um, how this is the complete result of all the lighting setup plus the indirect. So the GL import is no longer, is it still necessary? Or can you just work? Yeah, it's, de it's definitely not. And that's the great thing of this. You can actually work with a very much simplified GL viewport, just the lights, in case you need to modify or short positions of it. And when you move the camera on and around, see the actual result of what you're going to come back from the render here. As you see, the body is, is wonderful. And the more you wait, the more it refines. After just a couple of seconds, we have a very accurate representation of the 